All right, guys, when we are creating views, we want to avoid having views that have no dimensions or anything in there. Otherwise, I don't have a purpose for the view. So what I would have done is I would have had datum C and the four inch dimension over here on this view instead. So we're going to go into annotation dimension. I'm going to create this dimension here. And I'm going to do a datum here on this one here. And it went to D because we already have a datum A and B. I'm going to change that to the letter C. Um, we're going to right click, display, object properties. If I click on this, I'll have options to change heights and stuff in here, change dimension styles, so you might be able to take advantage of some of the other things in here. Uh, I wanted to do Scroll down here and change the feet inches to numdink. Okay. Um, this drawing is two place because it is an ANSI drawing. And now I want to show you something here. I got a datum C already called off. Really, I don't need that. I would delete this off and delete this dimension out. Mm, that's interesting. Let's double click this view to make sure I'm on the top view. I'm going to open the 3D data set here. I like to have the 3D model called up so that I can make sure I'm not uh, doing something incorrect or making modifications without my parts. I mean, uh, if I was saying, what drawing was I on? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just do this one. So this is. Datum C is here. I'm going to double click that, make sure I'm on the top view, and go to Datum. Put that Datum back. And I'm going to change, oh shoot, change that to C. Okay, and that should be a capital letter. And I am going to create a flag note for this. So I'm going to click on this, click a position, and I'm going to type in 100. And this, what I need is a flag node that goes around that. Okay, so when I click on this, I can go here and go to properties. And you're going to go through the windows here. Whoops, the one I'm looking for is uh, a frame. I have frame none on the tab called text. Okay, so you're looking for a frame. And what kind of frame do I want? I want a right flag note. I'll hit apply to see what it looks like. Select OK. 
So flag notes are created on drawings to indicate some kind of special note you want to tell the shop. What you're going to indicate to me is which one of the datums is not necessary. So from this point forward, I want you to place a datum on all the views and then you put a flag note by the one you don't think is necessary. And then what you're going to do above the general notes, we have to edit the background. Go into annotation here. And again, we'll do 100. And go to the properties and add the frame. Okay, and then we're going to put another note starting here. And uh, hopefully, I have this somewhere. This is the new note we're going to add is the flag notes for a 100. This datum is placed to demonstrate knowledge of the datum planes and is reference only. Where is my Katia? I'll paste that in there. Select OK. And I'll move this around a bit. Take this, shove it down. Try and get it to two lines. And uh, ideally, this note is even like that. OK. I would like to verify that you guys truly understand what side the datums are on. Uh, I can't believe how many times I've gone over it with students and they don't know which side any of the datums are on. So I would like to uh, keep everything hmm, keep everything in perspective as to where's your datums when I'm flipping it from one orthographic view to the next. So for for all the views, you're going to add the notes above the uh, in the border above the general notes and then also whichever one you deem is the extra one that's not really needed is the one I'm going to put on there and I'm going to go back to the sheet background I don't know why that dimension wasn't showing it does a little weird uh, some might argue well I'm really dimensioning more dimensions from here than I am this one, but it's more common to have this. these two views have your datums on there. So if I had no dimensions on there, I probably would put that on there. In reality, I could create this drawing without this view at all and have both of these up here on the top, but I'm trying to get you guys used to creating multiple views, all the orthographic views, what they look like, and also how to identify the datums in the different orthographic views. All right, so from here on out, I want you to add the flag notes that identify the datums on all views.